out of Versailles. The most beautiful in all of Champagne. My darling, I think we might have found the secret to perfect happiness. I am hopelessly, unequivocally yours. Francois willed the vines to me because he knew I would never sell. I will be continuing to care for them myself. Wine is a very difficult vocation, my dear. You underestimate what it will require of you. I know what it requires. I've been in the fields for years. You have one chance. One. These fields do not need replanting or starting over again. I disagree. They need to struggle to survive. I want our champagne to have structure, depth. I do admire you trying to run things as you want, as a woman would. We lose these first shoots to frost. We lose the harvest. No one can follow this. A woman is not capable of running this vineyard. When I have proceeds, I will send them to you. The woman is forbidden to run a business under the law. Her vineyard should be placed in the hands of an experienced executor. Is this the plan all along? No, madame. It never occurred to them you would succeed. So many obstacles ahead, so much at stake. But there is hope, however unpredictable. Your instincts have always been so good. Why won't you listen to yourself now? I don't want to. No one can sell abroad due to Napoleon's embargoes against his enemies. I want to stay ahead of him. Of Napoleon? So you're a criminal at heart. Human beings are compelled to create, to lay down our lives, however best we can. It is so that we might uncover the secrets of ourselves. And that with any luck, 100 years from now, someone will know that we were here.